It's Tech Tuesday, and today I'm going to talk about apps and programs that I currently use and something that's coming in the next few months from Adobe. But before I get to that, I'm going to hit the intro and also a couple minutes and some clips from the Fandemic Tour, which was this past weekend here in Sacramento, California. So here we go. Let's hit the intro. Checking out comic books. What's up, uh, Deadpool? <laughs> Prove nothing. You're not serving papers, are you? No. Uh, <laughs> and my kids want to do this. <laughs> Retro gaming. <laughs> It's only been a couple hours and I got hungry. Did you like it, Jaden? I loved it. Yes. We yes. got it. Yes. We also right. got posters. <laughs> nice little ease into Comic Cons. But yeah, we'll see how that goes if we ever go. So this week, I gave myself a challenge to basically edit the video, especially the clips that I took from the Fandemic Tour and this video that I'm recording now. Add some music, but everything would be added and edited through iMovie um, on the iPhone app. So I'm trying to see uh, where it, the iMovie app, where it's good, obviously the positives, but also some of the negatives. Um, I'll have more information on that later on, but as far as editing goes right now, the only, well, actually the main difference that I see is it's with regards to the music. Adding music and editing music is just a little tougher right now uh, using the iMovie um, app. But getting clips in and editing the clips, not as bad. Obviously, there's a lot, about, a lot more control when um, importing the clips into a program like Adobe Premiere Pro and getting basically the music synced up 
to uh, either motion or uh, sounds and some of the clips trying to get a good pace through the video. A lot harder to do uh, on a smaller screen and just basically using your thumbs to control uh, as far as clipping and where everything goes. But hey, uh, for those of you who are really good at it and this is that's the platform you like using, all good. Which actually brings to the to a article let me, let me do that again, which actually brings me to an article that I read this past week, which I want to kind of focus on, on this Tech Tuesday. So Adobe is looking to release a new, basically program and app. Um, right now it's called uh, Project Rush. I'm gonna put a link below. Um, obviously this is gonna be through YouTube, but take a look at it. It's actually an interesting concept and I'm hoping uh, I do get to use it and I believe in the future it will help me as far as being more efficient and um, when I don't have time near my computer I can do some editing on the go either on a tablet uh, like an iPad or even on my phone. The concept is pretty simple. Um, you, you can edit either on um, you can either edit on your laptop and again either on a tablet or a phone but the interface should be pretty much seamless. Similar to what I'm currently, I currently see through Lightroom CC, which is uh, photo editing. I'm hoping that this, uh, right now called Project Rush, these apps and this program does work uh, seamless uh, together um, throughout with obviously having Adobe um, Creative Cloud account. Uh, from the pictures that I see, have seen, um, the interface does seem like iMovie, also on the iMovie app, but again, the difference right now with regards to iMovie, whether you're working on, on a laptop or even on your phone, is there are certain settings you can't do to the video on, on the phone, but you can do on the laptop as far as uh, some color grading and uh, some transitions. Again, on the phone, it's just a little bit more, um, how do you say it, it's, uh, there isn't as many options you can do when it regards to editing video. You have to do that, obviously, on the laptop or on your, on your desktop. So I'm hoping with Project Rush that, again, it's seamless throughout. And yeah, if Adobe is able to pull it off, very cool. Um, I'm not looking for way professional or highly professional editing um, software. I do understand that there will be some limits, but I'm not at that point yet where I'm doing full productions or um, just some of the, obviously if you have seen some great editing out there, I'm not at that point yet. I just wanna put out some vlogs, some, you know, basically talk to you guys and just get ideas uh, through my vlog. But none of that is, I've tried to do some crazy editing, but again, I'm not at that stage yet. Down the line, hopefully. But anyway, going back to this Project Rush, from what I see, have seen so far, I'm really interested and I can't wait to see it. Hopefully, from what it has said in the article, it will come out possibly in October uh, during the Adobe Max conference. So, um, Looking forward to it, and yeah, I'm doing the, this video right now on my phone, and I'm doing all the editing right now through the iMovie app. There are some challenges, but hey, it's something I'm trying to see if it is feasible for me to continue to do. Uh, I do have I do have a busy schedule, and I'm trying to find ways to again maximize my time. Um, when I'm at work, uh, you know, during my breaks, my lunch hour, get things done, and yeah, using what programs are available uh, to me at the currently. So um, I do have some apps that I currently use that have it have made it more have made it easier for me to 
uh, put not only on video but through vlogs and not through the, the let me let me start that all over not only through the vlog but also blogging and podcasting so um, I'll discuss more of that later but yeah for now project rush from Adobe I'm looking forward to it again something that can help me edit video on the go and when I have some downtime again don't have to be near a laptop if I'm able to do it on my phone cool and to have my edits from my phone be seamless throughout other devices really cool so um, looking forward to it and yeah that's it for Tech Tuesday uh, let me know what kind of uh, video editing software you guys like to use if you don't that's okay maybe you like to use the, what you have on your phone is there an app that you currently like to use let me know um, obviously I'm looking to see your opinions and I'm open to uh, suggestions to better my video in the future so that's a really brief Tech Tuesday and yeah we will talk to you guys later